Honey, I'm going to do it. I know that you said you don't want me going to Venus, but I'm going to do it. <sighs> Honey, I love you. I truly do. But this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see another world. Why can't you understand that? Yes, there have been manned missions to Mars and I've refrained from going there because of my love for you. But my career as an astronaut is coming to a close. And I won't have another opportunity to leave Earth. Yes, I know my career is coming to a close. You know this. You have been part of those board meetings, same as me. Don't tell me that you haven't heard anything. Look. I've been an astronaut for 15 years. And have never had this opportunity. Please don't stop me. I love you too. And that's why I've asked that you are to be in communication with me always, every step of the way. Yes, I'm the one that motivated it. And yes, command control has approved it. Yes, I know the dangers. But then so do you. So does anyone. So do all the other astronauts. So does everyone coming with me. So do those who watch nature documentaries on YouTube. You know, you could always swap with Daniel. If you'd like that, you can always swap with Daniel. Well, the option still stands. You could talk to me throughout the entire operation, or I could talk to Daniel. I thought you'd see my point. Baby, I do love you, but I need to do this, please. Okay, look, I have to go. I'll talk to you later, okay? I'm glad that voice of yours is going to accompany me, though. Truly, there's nothing more soothing than your voice. As long as I can hear your voice, I know that everything will be okay.
This is flight 333X calling to report. We're approaching the planet Venus and falling into orbit. Oh, I wish that you could see how beautiful this planet looks from up close. Our telescopes from Earth do not do this planet justice, that's for sure. The orange-tinged clouds appear to be like an arrangement of burnt orange sand of various shades, carefully poured into a spherical entity. Oh, gosh, it's so beautiful. Yes, I'm just going to orbit the planet for a while, and I'll take photographs and measurements for you before I enter orbit, yeah? Okay, copy that. I'll make contact again when the crew and I plan to leave orbit and approach the planet. Oh, I really wish that you were with me seeing this planet with me. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is flight 333X calling to report. Okay, I'm approaching the clouds of Venus. Oh, they are absolutely massive. On average, I read that they are 160 miles in height. Would you like me to do a test of... Yeah? Okay, testing types of gases and evidence of life. Oh gosh, it's so calm up here. It absolutely belies the evidence of the hellish conditions below. There seems to be a warm breeze around 77 degrees Fahrenheit outside the spacecraft at the moment. Okay, copy that, thank you. Okay, it seems as though carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid is detected. No, no, there are no signs of life, but, but would you expect there to be? If there are life forms, then we have not yet developed technology that would be able to detect these non-typical life forms as yet. Oh, these clouds are freaking massive, and they appear to be saturated. Yes, I think that it will be raining below. I'm sure that it will be raining sulfuric acid, don't you think? Yes, I'll test it when we get to the surface. There are odd lightning strikes, but they seem to be going mainly from cloud to cloud and, and not really reaching the surface. Hmm... Yeah, this could be due to the air pressure down below. I'll only know for sure once I reach the surface and I'm able to test this hypothesis. But gosh, the lightning is bright. It even has a yellow tint to it, whereas ours on Earth is brilliant white. Yes, I'll, I'll take some video footage for analysis later. This is Flight 333X. I'm approaching the bottom of this massive cloud and I'm expecting some serious winds. The rain in the distance seems to be trajecting sideways on a 180 degree angle instead of downwards. <sighs> Oh, I'm expecting some serious winds. Oof! David, please keep the spacecraft steady. Yes, yeah, yeah, we've been hit by serious winds. 
Oh, gosh. My instruments are reading 220 miles an hour. But that's okay. That will head us to our next destination sooner than expected. Yeah, I've tracked it, so we definitely won't miss it. Oh, goodness, this wind is really strong. It's definitely helping us with saving fuel, though. I'm going to need to land soon, so that the wind doesn't damage the spacecraft. Oh, gosh, I hope this craft holds. Yes, we've turned to the specified degree to make it more aerodynamic, so it should be fine. Oh, damn it, this wind is so strong. Okay, the landing location will be coming in view in a few minutes. I'll make contact then. This is Flight 333X reporting. I'm descending and the ground definitely looks blackened. Like the lava fields of Hawaii. There is a very, very gentle breeze down here, but the air pressure, oh. With regards to the rocks, I speculate that these are the rocks that have been baking in the Venusian heat for all this time. You want to know something? I see geography that indicates that there may have been oceans on the surface. Yes, I'm sure. I'll send the images to you right away. Well, clearly there is no liquid water on the surface. It's just plainly too hot. And clearly all the water has evaporated with the increasing atmospheric heat. Yes, we're heading towards the mountain Maxwell Montes right now. My instruments read that it's almost as tall as Mount Everest. Well, there should definitely be some areas of shadow there, so there will be less chance of the spacecraft melting. Sorry, no joking, I know. I'm just very nervous. Scared? No, no, I'm not scared. You're with me. I can never be scared when you're with me. I promise I will not get out of the spacecraft. Were I to do so, the pressures that I'm reading will crush me like a bug. With this atmospheric pressure, even this gentle breeze is threatening to tr knock over the spacecraft. Oh, we will need to be very careful. I hope that we've saved enough fuel to be able to lift out of this air pressure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that we have, if my calculations are correct. Also, I'm reading it's particularly warm outside today. <laughs> yes, I'm reading 880 degrees Fahrenheit on my monitors. Hmm. I'm glad that we managed to sort out the cooling system glitch before leaving Earth, yeah? I would not have been a very happy camper right now if we had not. I'm checking our systems and our instruments report that... Oh, we have received minor damage in our encounter with the winds above. Yes, we should still be fine here for approximately 30 minutes before the pressure will overcome us. Uh, David, please initiate the testing procedure. We don't have much time. Thank you. Okay, testing has been done and we'll start the process of returning to Earth. My thoughts? Hmm. I wish you could see what I'm seeing right now. Despite 
the orange haze and orange clouds. It looked so much like home. There are mountains and valleys, clouds and rain. It just all looks so orange everywhere, with the rocks are blaring blackened and, and of course lacking any greenery that you know that I love so much. Imagine if there were any forms of life on this planet. I wonder how they would survive. I knew that deep in the caves back on Earth, where there is no sunlight nor much oxygen, extremophiles have been known to survive by using sulfur as a basis for their cellular metabolism, but... Oh, but these conditions... I really don't know how anything could survive here. Furthermore... I wonder what went wrong in Venus's history to look like this right now. Is it its proximity to the sun that caused the greenhouse effect to be accelerated, or, or is it something else? I mean, we are practically twin planets, same size, same iron core, same inner composition. I wonder if the Earth would ever go this route. Or if we, as a species, could push it towards this route. My thoughts are that I fear for humanity as we are destroying the only fragile planet that we have and that we know for a fact that life can exist. Not only that, but we are destroying each other by non-compliance in practices in curbing plague or virus outbreaks. Yes, we are social creatures. And that's how we were able to procreate and inhabit most of the planet. But I fear that this will be our downfall as a species. I see how barren this planet Venus is, and, and I'm so worried that future generations will experience this barrenness on Earth. I know that we have time to save the future, though, and... And I look forward to working with you to change things on Earth. Yeah? Okay, thank you, David. Our tests have been completed and we're ready to leave. I'll contact you when we've reached home. I love you, honey. And I can't wait to see you. Flight 333X out.